Hello Marshfields, I hope you're all well. I'm going to be sharing with you a book that might help you understand some of the strange things that are going on at the moment. Coronavirus, a book for children by Elizabeth Jenner, Kate Wilson and Nia Roberts. There's a new word that you might have heard. You might hear people talking about it or you might hear it on the news. This word is the reason you're not going to school. It's the reason you can't go outside very often or visit your friends. It might be the reason why the grown-up or grown-ups who look after you are at home. The word is coronavirus. But what is it and why is everyone talking about it? What is coronavirus? The coronavirus is a kind of virus. Viruses are tiny germs that are so small you can't see them. They are so light that they can float through the air in tiny drops of water and they can sit on your skin without you feeling them. If some of these germs get inside you, they can use your body to make more germs and that can make you ill. Do I have germs on me now? Yes, but hardly any of them are dangerous. There are lots of different sorts of coronavirus and some of them infect people. If you've been infected with one of these coronaviruses, all you probably had was a snotty nose or a cough. Achoo! Bless you! Could be a coronavirus. But when this completely new coronavirus germ gets inside a human body, it causes an illness called COVID-19. When people talk about catching the coronavirus, they are talking about this illness. How do you catch the coronavirus? Because the coronavirus is new, scientists don't know everything about it yet, but they think that there are two main ways that people can catch it. Coronavirus germs live in people's throats and mouths. When someone who has the coronavirus coughs or sneezes or breathes out, the germs come out of their mouths in tiny drops of water. Though you can't see the germs, you can sometimes see these tiny drops. In cold weather, they make a cloud of steam. So if someone else accidentally breathes in the air with the coronavirus germs in it, they would probably get the illness. It's so cold today. Yes, I can see our breath. It's easy to get the coronavirus germs from inside your body on your hands when you touch your nose or your mouth. If the person with the coronavirus germs on their hands uses a door, the invisible germs can live on the handle for hours. When someone else opens the door, they get the germs on their hands too. And if they touch their nose or mouth, the germs can get into their body. Hmm, I wonder if there are any germs on this door handle. So you can also catch the coronavirus by touching things that someone with the virus has already touched. What happens if you catch the coronavirus? Some people, particularly most children, hardly feel ill at all when they get the coronavirus, but they still have coronavirus germs in their body that they could give to someone else by mistake. When they get the coronavirus, lots of people get coughs and a high temperature. Some people also have a headache or aches all over their body. I feel really awful. People are usually ill for a few days, but bodies are amazing things. When a new germ like the coronavirus gets into somebody's body, their body knows that the germ shouldn't be there and starts killing it. The body has an amazing weapon against viruses called antibodies. Tiny cells in your blood make antibodies to fight each different virus invader. The antibodies catch the viruses, then the blood cells swallow them up and destroy them, and then the person gets better. Each of us has more than 10 billion different kinds of antibodies inside us. That means there are more different antibodies inside you right now than there are people in the world. <laughs>